Hello and welcome back. Sorry for the abrupt ending. The recording thing that I'm using only allows you to take like 15 minutes of video. So if it's longer than that, that just doesn't work, and then I lose the video. So we don't want that. So as we sit, we are trying to take over Slavonia. We've won a good battle. We are going to win this war one way or another. Um, the only issue is we don't have enough guys to siege his capital, so we're probably going to just, we're going to let play, we're probably going to just sit back, disband our levies, and then we will either just wait until we've got enough guys to re-raise them and then kill them, or we'll just wait for him to re-raise his guys. Um, since it's a subjugation war, you don't, Oh, uh oh, he doesn't like us very much. Huh? Um, you could be our champion. Do you like us a little more now? A little bit. Not sure what I wanted to say that for. Well, it's lost 218 troops. Okay, some more troops. Yeah, so we're probably going to just chill for a little bit until our levy gets back up. What's the garrison here? Oh, he just raised again, actually, so. So we may be able to hopefully this river between yeah there's yeah regardless of where we go from we'll have to cross a river so hopefully we can avoid taking two bad losses killing these guys and we can then have enough guys left over to um siege them and if not then well, we'll just have a little bit more and more score. Oh, he may leave, and then we may be able to siege it down. Maybe. That would be cool. Yep, so he got away, and... Woohoo! Okay, so we're just going to let that run, then. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can't, yeah, I can't take out the leader, so I'll have siege event happen. Siege events happen, regardless. So, let's let that go. Take a little peek around. So, Charlemagne has taken over all of this, so. They will probably create the Holy Roman Empire for too long, I imagine. At least. I am not a coward. Um, sure, I want to be a coward, dude. We're only a few years in, so not that much should have happened. Um, I don't usually play with autosave on when I'm recording, but I've had the game crashing lately on weird things, so I really don't want to lose a significant amount of time. Three, two. Let us hope so. Okay, so this is actually this is going to be about as good as we could hope for, because we'll, our money is still going up for potentially getting mercenaries for up oh, 100%. Alright. Awesome. Yoink. Now, they won't be particularly fond of us. That's okay. Alright, so... Let's have a look. These are both his sons, I believe. So you are not a fan of us. Okay, so he's got to claim on my title. He wants my title. He wants the title. High Chiefdom of Slavonia, and he wants.
wants to do to the Lord. And he's ambitious, so. Um, and we'll give him the, these two dudes some honorary titles. But I think he may be lost. We're going to designate our son as our regent real quick. Just because sometimes when you have a regent, particularly if you're like, um, if you're incapable or an infirm or whatever, um, your regent will sometimes just decide to take one of your counties or something away from you or gold or whatever. And so because of that, I'm going to, with my son as my regent, since I'll become him, any money or counties he takes away, eventually I'll get to have him back. So. Yeah, so that's good. So we've got enough money that we can keep building that up to hire mercenaries for the next war if we need them. So let's have a PC here. How many troops do you have? Um, we'll probably, we'll either need to make mercenaries, hire mercenaries, <laughs> make mercenaries, we'll either need to hire mercenaries, or we will need to probably wait until this dude takes over, um, to attack them. We do want to keep an eye on the Byzantines to see if they have any moments of weakness. Because if they do, then we could try and doink away one of these two counties. Be real sneaky like. How about these guys? not too strong but once again we probably need mercenaries to go after them and uh the one thing about attacking these people is it'd have to be a subjugation war right now i believe oh whoops my my um, uh, my ambition is not subjugation but regardless um, only one of their counties is actually in the Kingdom of Croatia, so I'm not so hot on fighting a super pitched battle for a single county like that, particularly when we won't even take direct control. Uh, I should also keep an eye on Bavaria, any weaknesses they have, they're not particularly strong, and we could, ooh, 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 400, be fighting another war right now. Okay, that's almost done already. Does he have any... He does have the King of Lombardy, is he? We don't want to mess with the Lombards right now. Because the Lombards are pretty strong at the start. Although... Charlemagne looks like he's... Yep, yeah, and he won. If he kicked, the butt's pretty good, but... Yeah, so we need to basically right now just sort of keep an eye on those fellas. One of our things is we want to get this county from them. We'll take this one just because it's part of our kingdom. Then we'll take that one, and then we can do county conquests on Bulgaria. So we're going to just have to chill for a little bit, though. We can create the kingdom of Croatia if we want to. But that's a lot of gold gold that could be used to hire mercenaries. Oh, they're going to war with somebody. Attacking them. So, that's clearly an allies war. He's married to the high chiefess of Kiev. Where are they going? Oh, so that's already almost over. Yeah. That's too bad. If they had, had to walk all the way up there, first it would have taken some attrition going through there, and then we could have actually attacked them. 
The prison teams are fighting somebody now. Hmm. I kind of want to just attack him. 900 dudes. I don't think I have 900 dudes. Got 800. But I could hire mercenaries. We could only do a subjugation for a single county, and I wouldn't even take control of that county. So I'm not so hot on the on the um, uh, take mercenaries for a county that we won't even control. But I am liking this. Oh, did they just get straight independence? They did. How many troops do you have? Ooh. Um. Okay, well, let's just attack him then. Go for the county of Vas. We'll just move right in. And these are all tribal things. So we will have no trouble sieging them down. And yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind with Avaria here. And eventually they'll probably become Pannonia. Is that they're all tribal. So even if they're, they've got a lot of troops, they'll be almost all light infantry and archers. Not that we've got a huge amount of heavy infantry. Because we're not a particularly strong area, but... We'll be better than them. So we can make up for smaller troop numbers, generally. So, for instance, even though these guys are already getting attacked. A war to revoke Vas. So he's trying to revoke this. Okay. Well, um, this may... This could end up being trouble, actually. He, has, he still has troops somewhere. Let me go find him. See, so that's all... That's all light infantry. Oh, is that them? Okay, we'll go there. Try and win a battle against them. Double check that we can't get anybody better than that. A little bit better. Okay, cool. Hopefully we win this. If not, we can hire some mercenaries, but no problem. And he's now declaring war on us. For what exactly? The subjugation of Croatia. He's not even in the kingdom of Croatia. He's in Serbia. I suppose you can do one subjugation outside of it. So. Alright, well that look, means that we're going to have to hire some mercenaries. And we'll have to continue that in the next episode.